Okay, you can be in here as long as you promise not to eat the plants. Ahoy hoy folks and welcome to today's video. My name's Sean aka Uncle Frogface. If you're new here then welcome. If you're not new then welcome back. Yeah we've got Tinkerbell in the office today. She's been very fussy because I've been very busy recently uh, which I'll tell you about in just a moment but she's demanding lots of attention so she'll be in here as long as she promises not to eat the plants. As soon as she starts eating the plants that's when she's gone. So there you go. You, you pop on up there. There we go. Good girl. Don't drink my tea either. So yes, today's video is a little bit different. We're going to be doing <laughs> we're going to be doing a little bit of digital art today. So uh, if any of you have been on the internet for any length of time, you will know Chloe Rose and Chloe Rose Art and the Artistic Bear Co, which is Chloe's company. Recently, Chloe did a video where she looked at the oldest coloring book in the world. She took some of those images and she recreated them, and then you know created wonderful pieces of artwork. And she is fortunate enough to have an extreme extremely good printer to be able to print those out and colour those traditionally. Now I do not have a good print, in fact I don't have a printer at all other than the one at my office and I'm not in the day job today. So Chloe was nice enough to put those files of the ink drawings that she did, um, of digital inks, online on her Artistic Bear Co website for free download and I messaged her and said Chloe would you mind if I took those and made my own video with them. She said that's absolutely fine. And I'm sorry, but she, I can see her. She's looking at those plants. She really wants to eat it. I'm watching you. So she, Chloe said, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So that is what we're going to do today. And the reason I wanted to do them is because they are children's book illustrations or they're aimed towards children. And they've got that you know, Victorian children's book quality to them. Now, why do I want to do children's books? Well, that brings me on to my announcement and I've been teasing this for a little while, but um, yeah, it's now time to properly fully announce. So my husband and I have for the last uh, way too many months been going through the adoption process. Um, and in the UK, it is a very lengthy process. There are panels and meetings and checks and goodness knows what else. And it has taken well over a year, um, about 18 months, probably more than that. See, I told you she'd go for those plants. Uh, yeah, to actually go through that process. Now, a few months ago, we were, um, we were approved as adopters uh, and very quickly matched up with uh, a child. We've gone through even more processes since then, and um, we have just had a confirmation that we are officially matched up with this little child. Now, due to adoption regulations and child safeguarding uh, and all that kind of stuff, you know, there's very little that I can actually share, um, and I won't be sharing stuff on social media. Uh, there are a few people out there who know this child's name um, who will not be divulging it in comments or online or anything like that. Um, obviously outside of friends and immediate family, that is. But essentially that means that this is my last art video for a little while, at least regularly scheduled art video, let's say. Now you know that I do two videos a week, at least one art video, one Minecraft or gaming video, which has been Minecraft recently. And due to us going and starting our introductions with this child, this means that for the next four to six weeks, I'm gonna be incredibly occupied. We we both are, we're just gonna be very busy and we're just, you know, we're taking time off from our day jobs as well. In fact, I'm gonna be off from my day job for the next seven or eight months so that I can be at home looking after this child. So in terms of the YouTube channel, what does this mean? Well, yes, I am taking a little bit of a break. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna be making any content. I will still be making things sporadically. Sp sporadically. I'll still be making things every now and then and uploading, but it won't be on the regular schedule that it has been. And it will only be for a short period and I will be coming back to the YouTube channel just as it always has been. Well, what does that mean for you? Well, that means that if you're not subscribed already and you haven't hit that notification bell, now is the time 
to do it. I can honestly, the support that I've had over the last few years has been amazing. And uh, this is a time where I could really use some more support. So please do subscribe. It will mean the absolute world to me. And uh, yeah, if you hit the notification bell, then when I do get the chance to upload those videos, you're not going to miss out on any of the content that I put out there. So with that news out of the way, let's get to today's video. So as I said, I got the drawings from Chloe. Um, she's blessed this video and said it's okay to uh, to put the video out there. Think about jumping around the office now. Um, and I have my iPad ready. I've already actually done the pieces. Now what I decided to do was to take these two images, which are both very children's book illustrations. They're both very similar. It's a child riding in a weird item. And I wanted to do one in a more traditional style, more painterly style, more Victorian, if you will. And the one in a more modern children's book style. It's more what you will find in a current modern children's book. And just compare the two in terms of how long it takes and the finished product and all that kind of stuff. It occurs to me that there are people out there who probably don't know how to take an image and open it in Procreate ready to be drawn on. So I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so first we start with our gallery. And if we go up here to import, we can go down, so on the left hand side here, I've already selected my download folder. If I go right down to the bottom, there we go, world's oldest coloring book. You can see I've got these images. Uh, and then if I click on any of them, let's click on this one. So I haven't colored this one in, but here we go. We have that all set up. All I have to do is set this top layer to a multiply layer, uh, have that as a top layer, add a new layer, and add that underneath. And now, if I go ahead and start coloring, let's just get this acrylic brush, make it nice and big. You can see I can color and the line work just shows through, just like it's a normal coloring page. So that is the setup that I initially use. Let's get into the art pieces. The first one is the more traditional Victorian style. Okay, first things first, this music. I love this music. I know I've used it a few times before, but it just reminds me of being in an art gallery. I'm not sure why, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun piece of music. So anyway, on to the artwork. This is the more traditional style one. So starting traditional, because I thought, you know, we'll start with the oldest, work up to the newest. So for this one, I filled the background with a desaturated blue color. This whole thing is slightly desaturated, but I think works well with the theme of Victorian artwork. The brushes that I'm using for this are a watercolor and a gouache brush. They both have a little bit of opacity to them as well, and I think it lends nicely to the look that we are going for. I actually really enjoyed this. It was a fun piece to color, and it was nice to just kind of brush up on a little bit of traditional in a digital way. I have to say, there is one thing that um, really makes me laugh in this piece, and uh, Chloe, if you're watching, I know you'll know what it is. It's that fish down in the corner. What is that fish? It looks like a Jim Henson fish. It looks like if the Fraggles had drawn a fish, that is the fish that we have in there. I love it. It's just so bizarre. It kind of uh, reminds me of those sculptures that you get in uh, old uh, Victorian houses, actually, of fish and dolphins and stuff. Anyway, uh, on to the piece. So you can see I'm really playing about with the, the light and the shadow in this. And I thought for this one, we'd go with a very traditional uh, Victorian skin tone, which I'm not going to do in the more modern one. And of course, we're going to go for a nice pink dress because it's a lovely girly picture but what I'm gonna do is leave you to enjoy the rest of this and uh, and I'll come back to you when we start on the next piece
Okay, so the more modern style. So if you look at current children's books, they all seem to share, or majority of them share a style, which is this very blocky colour. So I decided to use the lasso tool for a lot of this and then just fill with flat colours. Uh, and actually, I think all of this, every base layer on this is done in that way. And what it does is it gives a very quick way of working. It also has a very uh, stylistic look to it, which I think is a very modern children's book look. But I tried playing around with a little bit of texture, didn't like it, I decided, yeah, we're just going flat colors on this whole thing. The part that I broke away from using the lasso tool, uh, and I'll come back to that that just happened there in just a second. The part that I broke away is with the multiply and, uh, and overlay layers on this to give the shadows as you'll see here. So I am using a brush, but I'm still using block colors. I'm just drawing everything in by hand. And the only other thing that I'm adding to this piece is just a little bit of texture because all of these modern books seem to have this weird kind of overlay texture on it. So I'm adding that in this as well to really go for that modern feel. Come on, give me a cuddle. There we go, so that's both artworks completed. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on them. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the more traditional painterly style one, or do you prefer the more modern, brightly coloured one? I know which one I prefer, but I'm not gonna give that away just yet. Now, as I said, I really do appreciate all the support that you guys give. It, it honestly, it really does mean the world to me. And I just want to say thank you once again. And any support that you're willing to give just by clicking that subscribe button or liking the video really does make a huge difference to me and to the channel and Tinkerbell here as well. She loves it as well, don't you? <laughs> She's looking at me very confused. So as always, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and until next time and for a little while, goodbye.